Right now at 10, floodwaters are leaving behind damage in town of Campbell Homes. Property owners have left wondering if FEMA funds are on the way. And as Wisconsin Republicans work on their own version of the biennial budget, they take out hundreds of the governor's proposals. Plus, a local member of baseball history will be speaking about her time as an All-American Girls pro player in lacrosse tomorrow. We're watching WKDT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 10. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 10. I'm Ken Kozarowski. More than 100 homes on French Island are dealing with flood damage. Many property owners are wondering if they'll be getting federal help from FEMA. Town of Campbell Supervisor Lee Donahue says many homes on the island have up to three feet of flood water in their basement. La Crosse County Supervisor says at least $10 million in damage has to be reported in order to collect FEMA relief funds. FEMA money is very hard to come by. People don't take the time to call that 211 number and let them know, you know, that they have a certain dollar amount of damages. Um, nothing will happen. La Crosse County qualified for FEMA relief in 2019 because of severe storm damage but didn't get funding. Several communities in the Cooley region did. Residents all across the county are encouraged to call 211 as soon as possible to report flood damage. But officials say there's no guarantee that FEMA funds will be made available. And for the latest on the flood stage around the Mississippi River, let's head over to Bill with the latest. Well, that good news continues. I know the damage has already been done, so to speak, but water levels continue to fall. In fact, uh, latest stage as of 10 o'clock, 13.60 here in the cross. So that is down over two feet from the crest last week, 15.89. Uh, it's also falling in Wabasha, 13.75, Winona, 15.26, and Prairie du Chien McGregor at 20.66. Uh, still forecast to fall to flood stage around May 7th or 8th in Wabasha, Winona, and here in the cross. It'll take longer down to the south but falling to about 17.8 feet in Prairie du Chien and McGregor around May 9th is the way it's looking right now. All right, we had a few clouds scattered about around sunset, made for a nice scene in the western sky, but skies are mainly clear now. Uh, a lot of bright stars out there and a pretty bright moon as well. It'll be full on Friday, and those clouds were on the western edge of this pesky low, which continues to bring chilly conditions to northeastern parts of the country and the eastern Great Lakes. Current temperatures, 40s for most, 46 in Eau Claire, 44 in Black River Falls, 49 here in the cross, still some 50s down to the south in Decorah, Prairie du Chien and Bo uh, Boscobel. Mainly clear tonight, chilly though. Temperatures in the 30s, lows in the cross around 37. School cast for tomorrow, sunshine in 39 at 7 a.m., 55 by lunchtime. Afternoon highs in the lower to middle 60s with a partly cloudy sky. But best thing about tomorrow, a lot lighter wind. So that's going to make for a much more pleasant day to be out and about. I'll talk about my eight-day forecast in just a few minutes. Sounds like a plan. Thanks, Bill. All right, a seventh person for, for I'm sorry, firefighters were on the scene of a house fire on Axland Road in Wheatland earlier this evening. Now, emergency crews from DeSoto, Wheatland and Stoddard were called to respond. Crews from the Genoa Harmony Fire Department were also on scene. Footage from the scene details heavy damage to the house. We are awaiting official release from those fire crews and we will share that information as it becomes available to us. Turning now to the state of Illinois, a seventh person is now dead after the 72 vehicle crash in central Illinois yesterday, including a woman from Wisconsin. 40 others were injured in the pileup along a stretch of I-55 just south of Springfield. High winds kicked up dust from farmers tilling and planting their fields. 88 year old Shirley Harper from Franklin, Wisconsin, was one of the people killed in the crash. She leaves behind several grandchildren and a family that says she was kind and generous. She would talk to anybody, do anything for anybody. Um, people like her, we needed more of, more of them in the world. And the ages of those injured in the crash range from 2 to 80. And the highway did reopen today. A Democratic member of Wisconsin's Elections Commission is resigning. 72-year-old Julie Glancy is officially stepping down this week. Governor Scott Walker appointed Glancy to one of three Democratic seats back in 2016, and then Tony Evers reappointed her for another five years in 2021. Glancy says in a statement she wants to make way for someone with a fresh perspective. The governor will be appointing a Democratic successor from a list of former local government clerks. More than 500 items proposed by Governor Evers in his budget plan are being cut by Republican lawmakers. The GOP-controlled Budget Committee killed proposals to legalize cannabis, pay for renovations at the Milwaukee Brewers Stadium, and create paid family leave. Governor Evers says the moves are, quote, foolish. 
Democratic lawmakers say Republicans are ignoring the will of the people. And Republicans say they are creating a fiscally responsible budget. One of the proposals in Governor Evers' budget is more money for mental health care. May is National Mental Health Awareness Month, and today the governor stopped by the Cooley Recovery Center. The governor has proposed a $500 million investment to support mental health and behavior services in his budget. Cooley Recovery Center helps people struggling with mental health and substance abuse. The center's leaders say extra funding would be critical. A lot of individuals who need these services uh, may not have good insurance, may not have insurance at all. And, you know, sometimes it really just needs to have something that they don't have to pay for. The governor also stopped by North Lakes Community Clinic in Eau Claire. State legislators on Tuesday voted to accept a $323 million settlement from opioid manufacturers as well as major distributors Walmart, Walgreens, and CVS. The settlement is part of a multi-state $19 billion lawsuit that accuses companies of contributing to the nation's opioid crisis. The settlement will also require opioid makers to scale down their marketing and sale of opioids, which have killed an estimated 500,000 Americans since the year 1999. State Senator Brad Paff and other state officials were in La Crosse today to see the F.J. Rovers Company, who recently received a grant from the state's Harbor Assistance Program. The grant money is going toward rebuilding the dock's wall to improve the import and export of goods such as corn and grain. Senator Paff explained how all forms of transportation and the economy are intertwined with one another. Just this one barge right over here, uh, loaded with grain, takes 70 semis uh, off the highway. Just think about that for a second. All of this is interconnected. Okay. FJ Rovers had received $1.7 million to help rebuild their dock's walls. You can hear from a fixture of baseball history in La Crosse tomorrow. Dolly Osborne is the guest speaker for the next Wise Wednesdays program at the La Crosse Community Connection Center. Dolly will discuss her time as a professional women's baseball player in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League and answer some questions. Now, the event is tomorrow from 10.30 a.m. to noon and is free to attend. We've got more info on news8000.com. Coming up, a COVID-era policy that's set to expire could intensify the number of migrants seeking asylum in the U.S. And it's got the Biden administration sending troops to the southern border. And later, your late-night TV shows might be heavy on reruns. Thousands in the Writers Guild are picketing for the first time in almost 20 years. Are record high energy and water costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes? With inflation rising at record levels and incomes not keeping pace, you might be one of tens of thousands of Wisconsin residents who are struggling to survive. While you may not ask for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to be without heat, water, or power. For a hand up, apply today and call 1-800-506-5596. That's 800-506-5596. Or visit www.heat.help. Introducing the Starmark Composite Window, now available exclusively at Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions. With its solid frame construction, this revolutionary window is 2,000% more airtight, 40% more energy efficient, and 12 times stronger than the average vinyl window. And at a price less than what many companies charge for lower quality vinyl windows. Call now to save 50% off installation. In just over a week, a pandemic-era immigration policy expires, giving migrants a greater chance at being allowed into the U.S. Customs and Border Protection is getting a boost from the Pentagon as it prepares for a significant increase in asylum seekers. Nicole D'Antonio has the details. 
The Biden administration is preparing for a surge at the southern border, sending 1,500 troops to help Customs and Border Protection. These personnel will be performing administrative tasks like data entry and warehouse support. They will not be performing law enforcement functions or interacting with immigrants or migrants. Next week, the Trump era immigration policy known as Title 42 is set to expire. That will end the ability to use the pandemic as a reason to deny entry into the U.S. The Pentagon says the soldiers will be deployed for 90 days, adding to the already 2,500 National Guard members at the border. These troops arrive as early as uh, May 10th. The administration is preparing for as many as 10,000 migrants to cross at the border next week, almost doubling the daily average from March. Title 42 might as well already have been lifted. And this Texas is, Republican this is Tony Gonzalez represents El Paso, which has seen a 130 percent spike in arrivals at the border. The administration needs to be sending uh, judges to the border. And these judges need to get these asylum cases heard in days, not years. Congress has struggled to tackle immigration reform, even though both sides agree there's a crisis. The current situation is intolerable. There need to be more resources. Hundreds of migrants are waiting just a few feet from the U.S., hoping to seek asylum. Nicole D'Antonio, CBS News, Washington. The White House says judges and lawyers are heading to the border to handle expedited removal proceedings, and those who do not qualify for asylum will be removed in a matter of days or weeks. Coming up, a congresswoman's stock sale that's raising eyebrows. Reports say she sold First Republic Bank stock before its collapse, but she's not in trouble. And I'm Chief Meteorologist Bill Grawl. Highs today in the mid-50s to lower 60s, including 63 officially out at the La Crosse Airport. Similar temperatures, if not a bit warmer tomorrow. Details of my eight-day forecast up next. Knutson Roofing, locally owned with 18 years of experience to get your project done right the first time. Whether it's roofing, window, or siding installation, we offer reliable, dependable, and quality work we stand behind. Knutson Roofing, call or visit us online today. Mother's Day is almost here, and it's time to visit Jolivet Family Farms. Eight greenhouses full of a wide variety of flowers, vegetable, and plants, all grown for this climate. Jolivet's features one of the area's largest selections of hanging baskets. Succulents, clematis, citronella, mosquito plants, horseradish, rhubarb, asparagus. Find unique lawn and garden decor. Take home a strawberry, rhubarb pie, rhubarb crisp, or try the new peanut butter pie from our homemade bakery. All this and so much more. Jolivet Family Farms, West Salem. You know what frustrates me is seeing people who are 50, 60, even 70 years old who are worth less today than they were the day they were born. How does this happen? These folks never learned money management. I love talking about money management at Firefighters Credit Union, so if you'd like to learn more, please give me a call. Cause everybody's welcome at Firefighters Credit Union. Where does electricity come from? It comes from here. And here. And here. At Excel Energy, we work to keep that energy reliable and safe by constantly monitoring and protecting the grid. Because while it's important where electricity comes from, we're just as focused on getting it where it's going safely. This is how the future is made. The results are in for the 10th Annual Best of La Crosse County. Head to bestoflacrossecounty.com to see the winners in every category. Thank you to everyone who participated and congratulations to all the winners. Here's one of the many businesses that won this year. You just had to wait. Now we're going to miss our vacation. <sighs> now on the bright side, I can crown that tooth and have you on your way in the same day. See for yourself. Call or visit allendental.net. Betting on our weather is risky business. Don't gamble with your most valuable asset. Knutson Roofing has you covered with an available 50-year guarantee on all roofs. Yes, we set an available 50-year guarantee. Knutson Roofing. Call or visit us online today. Spring is a great time to plan your next home improvement project. Call now for a free estimate on windows, doors, siding, sunrooms, decks, baths, kitchens, or flooring.
Well, you'll already see the effects of the Writers Guild strike today as some late night shows put on reruns instead of new episodes. More than 11,000 members of the Writers Guild of America went on strike today for the first time since 2007. The union officially called for a strike after it failed to reach an agreement with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers yesterday. Writers have been trying to reach a new contract with studios as the industry shifts into streaming. Union members say they want fair pay. Better pay and better writing conditions. They need to be able to support their families, pay their rent, um, have better conditions in the workplace. I came up at a time where we could do that, and I want that for these young people. The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel Live, and The Late Show with Stephen Colbert all went into immediate hiatus and are airing reruns. This weekend's Saturday Night Live is already canceled. A congresswoman's stock sale involving failed bank First Republic is raising eyebrows. House Democrat Lois Frankel of Florida revealed she dumped First Republic stock before its collapse and then bought J.P. Morgan stock before the bank bought First Republic. Frankel revealed the sale in a financial disclosure form last month. She told CNN she was not involved in the business transaction and a money manager handles her finances. Frankel is not facing any investigations. Uber is staying strong amid a tech slump, reporting a revenue of $8.8 .8 billion in the first quarter this year. That's up 29% from the same period last year. The number of trips during the first quarter grew 24% compared to last year as well. The company has avoided having to undergo significant layoffs. Its rival, Lyft, is undergoing layoffs. And just in time for Mother's Day, a local group is kicking off its flower sale. For the 43rd year running, the Franciscan Healthcare Auxiliary will be selling geranium and hibiscus flowers to raise money for nursing scholarships. With a number of studies in recent years finding critical shortages in nurse staffing levels, the Auxiliary's president says the scholarship is a valuable resource for future nurses in the La Crosse area. This year's geranium sale will fund 11 scholarships, including eight nursing students at Viterbo and three at Western Technical College. We have a great time supporting this event and greeting our people. We have so many recipients that come back yearly and continue to purchase from our sale because they want to pay it forward. Although online ordering has ended, some plants may be available for purchase in person tomorrow and Thursday at the garage located between 11th and Ferry Streets in La Crosse. Volunteers and Aptive employees in La Crosse are providing produce for the community. Today, Aptive Community Victory Garden marks its fourth year as a Hope Grows community garden location. The garden provides free and readily available produce for people in the La Crosse community that may not be able to afford it. Volunteers planted produce, everything from potatoes to carrots and lettuce. One volunteer says the garden keeps her busy. It's a lot of fun. Gets you outside. It's very convivial here. And I love the idea of raising some food for the community. If you'd like to volunteer at one of the La Crosse Neighborhood Gardens, you can call that number on your screen. We've got more info as well on our website. And definitely a good day to enjoy some of that outdoor weather, Bill. A little windy, uh, but temperature-wise, not too bad. Now, the good news, temperatures will be similar, if not a bit warmer tomorrow, a lot less windy. So I mowed the front yard uh, today, backyards on the docket for tomorrow. Should be a pleasant day for that. And again, garden season just around the corner. I usually advise people to wait until Mother's Day weekend. So we've got a uh, week from Sunday before we get to Mother's Day. And of course, with gardening season comes allergy season as well. High symptoms across the board tomorrow and Thursday for oak, birch, and tree pollen in general. Due to the warmer temperatures for tomorrow and Thursday, expect that tree symptom index to remain on the high side until our next rainfall, uh, which could be on Thursday. But uh, rain chances on Thursday pretty slim. 20% chance or less for most. A little bit better chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms on uh, Friday and still some minimal chances through the weekend. Some clouds at times today, but enough sunshine that we managed 60 plus degrees here in La Crosse and a nice little sunset earlier this evening with a nice little afterglow from that sun as it went behind the bluffs of southeastern Minnesota. Venus uh, shining brightly in the western sky, 63, but we hit that high after 5 o'clock. 67 is our average high, so not too far from that. 92 and 26 are the records for today. 49 out at the airport, still 50 here at the station. Winds have really come down five miles per hour from the north northeast and the Mississippi continues to come down as well. Good news there down to 13.6 feet. The Chippewa River holding steady for you folks in the Eau Claire area. 46 degrees for you and your winds out of the northeast at about six miles per hour. Still rather chilly across the Great Lakes. Boy, they've had a 
horrible weekend and a horrible start to the week as well with clouds, rain and snow showers. Uh, 40s and 50s around here currently still 52 in Decorah. 51 in Prairie du Chien, 43 for you folks in Viroqua, 44 in Black River Falls and 49 in Winona. And again, winds generally from the north and northeast at about 5 to 10, a little bit stronger uh, gust of 13 miles per hour in Viroqua. So we finally got rid of the clouds on the western edge of this storm system. Again, this is the same one that brought the crummy weekend around here. Really hasn't shifted east all that quickly. High pressure and control for tomorrow keeping us dry. Then a couple systems, one a weak system to the north, uh, some moisture from the south and west will combine to bring some low end rain chances by Thursday and Friday. So clear tonight, much lighter winds, but kind of chilly, uh, a, a, kind of a sunny to partly cloudy sky for tomorrow, but dry. And then heading into Thursday, mainly dry, but a couple of boundaries will be in play. You can tell by the winds coming at different directions, so I can't fully rule out an isolated shower, perhaps even a rumble of thunder on Thursday. High temperatures tomorrow right around 63 to 64, maybe 65 degrees in the La Crosse area. Most spots between about 60 and 65, maybe a couple of isolated spots in the upper 50s, especially in parts of Clark, Chippewa and uh, Rusk counties. So for tonight, Clear, lighter winds, but chilly. 37, some bright moonlight. Again, it's full on Friday. 64 tomorrow, sunny to partly cloudy. Uh, kind of a pleasant day with those lighter winds. It'll make it uh, feel better to be out and about. 73 on Thursday. Again, some low end rain chances. Thursday through Sunday looks ominous there, but uh, plenty of dry hours each day. Highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s. And it's going to stay spring like right through at least the middle of next week, low to mid 70s, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday as well. So uh, kind of turning a little bit of a corner here with those temperatures staying pretty consistent on the mild side. Yeah, looks good. Yeah. Thanks, Bill. Okay. Coming up next in sports, busy night for our high school athletes. Thomas Softball put up 22 runs in a win yesterday. Could they pick up where they left off? Rob has the highlights next. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Clinic Health System. Your health care should be unique to you. At Mayo Clinic Health System, they get to know your story and customize a treatment plan that fits your needs. Whether it's a bathroom remodel or comprehensive plumbing services, we at Maxwell White strive to keep our neighbors safe and comfortable in their homes, offering honest, upfront pricing on every service, all backed by a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Call Maxwell White today. Stings, dents, scratches, big crunches. You know where to bring them. Pishke Motors Collision Center on 2nd Street in downtown La Crosse. When you've got a crew of professional body and paint technicians like ours, you provide them with the latest in repair equipment. And that's what we've done in this state-of-the-art, environmentally friendly facility. We have customer drive-in lanes, soft touch, 24-hour car wash. So when the dings, dents, scratches, and even the big crunches happen, bring them to Pishke Motors Collision Center on 2nd Street in downtown La Crosse. To everyone who appreciates a handcrafted meal, are you ready for a taste of Wisconsin? Butterburgers cooked fresh, just the way you like. The way you love. Definitely love. And our thick and creamy frozen custard, we make it for you all throughout the day. All day. All day, every day. Put it in the extra work and not cutting corners. It takes a little longer. But it's how we've always done it at Culver's, because making your meal with care shows how much we care. From Wisconsin with love. Refined, a hundred percent naturally Duluth. Love it like we do. With a tankless system, you can have unlimited hot water whenever and for however long you need it. Upgrade to a tankless today and never be left without hot water again. Rely on Maxwell White, plumbing done right. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Health System. Here's News 8 Now's Rob Schiff. The Toma softball team put on a show Monday. The Timberwolves were a scoring machine. 22 runs scored in a shutout win over on Alaska, and Toma was back at it on Tuesday. Timberwolves playing host to Arcadia. Both teams fighting the wind in this one first inning. Arcadia's Bryn Aspen gets things started with the line shot out to right center. She starts the game with a stand-up double, but then Toma's Maddie Johnson will flip the switch. The junior pitcher would go on to strike out eight of the next nine batters, really setting the tone for this Toma defense, just untouchable 
in that pitcher's circle. Oh, and she can hit, too. Top of the second, Johnson gets all of this one, sends it to right field. She's got a leadoff triple, would later score on an infield hit. Later in the game, bases loaded for Thomas Lauren Knopf. She crushes this one, a deep left field off the fence, just barely missing the grand slam. Two runs would score, though. Toma would go on to win it 11-0. They're now 15-1 on the year. NBC rival squaring off in lacrosse. Central playing host to rival on Alaska. The Hilltoppers hot out of the gate. Zoe Kunso Kane, she shops at the gap. She drives one to right center. That's going to score Kylie Gilhausen. RBI triple for O'Kane. On Alaska puts up a four spot in the first. Central's turn now. Bottom one, Katie Gray. Lines a base hit in the left. Riverhawks get three back to make it a one-run game. Top two, Central's D shows up. Haley Ogle is going to show out. What a catch here by the center fielder. Third inning now, Hilltoppers adding to their lead. Marley Walleen shows bunt, safety squeeze. Riverhawks get the out at first, but here comes Sydney Philbach scoring from third. That makes it 5-3 on Alaska, and the Hilltoppers keep adding to it. Still in the third, Rebecca Voter lines one back to the pitcher, skirts toward first. That allows Jenna Ganson to score. It's 8-3 Hilltoppers in the third. On Alaska hangs on for the win, 11-8. MVC showdown on the pitch as well. Logan Luther hosting Central tonight. Pick it up early in the first. Riverhawks going right to work. Chloe Ackerman lines it up, floats it into the back of the net. Central gets on the board. And the Riverhawks keeping the pressure on. Later in the half, it's the freshman, Grace Wilkerson, sending this bullet bottom left corner. What a strike. Makes it 2-0 Central. And then it's Kate heider Scheidt taking this game over. The junior finding some real estate on the left side of the goal. Then how about this? Same spot. Same result for number eight. That makes it 5 nothing Riverhawks. And Central not slowing down. Still in the first half, it's Ellie Kirchner joining the party. The senior goes top shelf for another Riverhawk goal. All Central in this one. They get the win 11-1. to one. We go to Onalaska. The Hilltoppers at the top of the MVC table. They're hosting Toma. First half, a free kick for Toma's Riley Winrick. Usually dominant, but tonight a little lucky. The senior gets it past the goalie for a 1-0 lead, but the Hilltoppers battling back. Amaya Tessing making a run, crossing it into Isabella Kromchi. Kromhiki, sorry, she just taps that one into the net. We're all tied at one minutes later. On attacking again, Ava Breidenbach creating some space, takes a chance at goal. What a shot. Over the goal, into the net. Anna takes the lead. They'd go on to win it, 5-2. to two. Keeping pace in the MVC races is the focus as Holman visits West Salem. Tenth minute, West Salem's Brinley Kelly centers to Addie Ferguson. She finds the upper 90, putting the Panthers on the board first. Nineteenth minute now, Holman's Kayla Allen gains possession. Top of the box, skies a shot over the keeper. No one could break the tie in the second half as this one ends in a 1-1 draw. Pros, Brewers, Twins both lose, but good news if you're following the NBA still. I know the Bucks are not in it, Out, but, yeah. but the Knicks are taking care of the Heat. We got your back, Bucks, Bucks fans. <laughs> we can I guess it. the entire state of Wisconsin would be Knicks fans by yeah. default now. Yeah, we won. It's 1-1 one one now. Okay. I mean, Jimmy Butler didn't play. That kind of helped. <laughs> you, better hope he doesn't, care about the you better hope he doesn't play the rest of the series. The way <laughs> if he beat the Bucks, he could beat the Knicks by himself. Sure All right, Rob, thanks yeah. very much. More news right after this. Taco John's new double beef and potato quesadilla is so filling, it'll have you speaking double. Double seasoned beef beef, crispy potato olazolays. Five melty cheese cheeses, double double beef olay. New ultra filling double beef and potato quesadilla. For a limited time at Taco Taco John John's. Don't settle for overpriced low quality vinyl windows. Our Starmark composite window available exclusively at Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions is 2,000% more airtight, 40% more energy efficient, and 12 times stronger than vinyl windows. And at a price less than what many companies charge for lower quality vinyl windows. Call now to save 50% off installation. At Papa Murphy's, we build your pizza with the freshest ingredients. You take it and bake it fresh in your oven. So technically, I make the pizza. Right now, get the limited time Taco Grande pizza. Papa Murphy's, change the way you pizza. Luther High School, we are a powerhouse in culture and fulfilling the needs of each and every student through our student services program. We recognize the future needs all students, whether it's a four-year college, trades, or the trade school. Our on-site STEM program will offer welding and advanced woods program and allow stackable credits at technical colleges throughout Wisconsin. 
Luther High School, Christ-centered, encouraging and preparing students for life. Schedule your visit today. Go to lutherhigh.org or find us on Facebook at We Love Luther. Here's a dose of reality. Driving under the influence of prescription painkillers is just as illegal and just as deadly as driving drunk. In fact, drugged driving deaths in Wisconsin have increased nearly 200% over the past 10 years. Help prevent drugged driving and let's achieve zero preventable deaths on Wisconsin roadways. Driving on pills kills. It's a Non-drowsy Claritin knocks out symptoms from over 200 allergens without knocking you out. Feel the clarity and make today the most wonderful time of the year. Live Claritin clear. To all you so-called drive through contenders out there, Taco John's is coming for the breakfast belt. With the boldest, cheesiest, baconiest, potato olayiest breakfast burritos ever, we're not pulling any punches. The new breakfast champ is here. Try a bigger, bolder breakfast at Taco John's. It is the end of an era for Onalaska Fire Chief Troy Goody. After 34 years in the department, he's ready for the next adventure. With a fishing rod in hand and family by his side, Dua Israr has a story. It's when the tones go off, right? Like they are right now. What do you want to be when you grow up? Did you ever think this day would come? Oh, you're the best one we've had. Most kids will tell you a firefighter. So this is my, was my command vehicle. On Alaska, Fire Chief Troy Goody didn't think of himself as a firefighter. This is my wife, Trudy. But his wife did. She found a, a newspaper article that was looking, it said, On Alaska, Fire Department is hiring part time, paid on call firefighters. And she said, You're really good with people, and I think you'd make a great firefighter. The joke in my head was, We were basically newlyweds. And within a year, she was trying to get me another job. <laughs> she was right. Goody went on to become Unalaska's first full-time firefighter. You used to lean on the squeegee and always make me nervous when I was backing up the truck, sure, didn't you? Sure. Firemen call Goody the pulse of the department. Day in and day out, he is here, uh, does more than what is expected and asked of him, and he's happy to do it. Now, Goody says it's time to hang up his uniform. Just had my anniversary, and my last day is today, May 2nd. Goody's responded to many calls over the last three decades, including one question every firefighter gets. On Alaska Fire Department, you have a lady stuck in a tree trying to rescue a cat. I rescued the lady that went after the cat. Goody says he has no regrets because this job is one he's loved every day. 34 years has been a long time. <laughs> Reporting in on Alaska, Duestrar, News 8 Now. And he says he's looking forward to spending the summer fishing with his family. He's earned it. The Onalaska Assistant Fire Chief will step in as the search for a new fire chief continues. We'll be right back. Get Hormel Black Label Bacon, $2.99. And Simply Done Bath Tissue or Paper Towels, $3.99 at High V. That's Hormel Black Label Bacon, $2.99. And Simply Done Bath Tissue or Paper Towels, $3.99. Wednesday only at High V. Save today in your next project with 11% off everything at Menards. Mastercraft makes great doors inside and out, building the highest quality doors in a wide selection of styles. Get this ready-to-paint exterior door, just $199.97 after rebate. Upgrade your home today with quality, energy-efficient appliances from brands including KitchenAid, Maytag, Whirlpool, Amana, and Criterion. Save 11% on your entire appliance upgrade now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Now's the time to make your dream home a reality with a home loan from Ultra. Whether you're buying, building, or refinancing, we're here to help make it happen. With great rates and local servicing, a secure 24-7 online application, and an expert team. So take the next step and apply now. It's fast, easy, and hassle-free. But don't just take our word for it. Here's what our members say. Ultra Federal Credit Union, helping you live your best life. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is here and ready to help. Anyone in Wisconsin can call, text, or chat to get connected to a trained 988 counselor. Trained counselors are here to support anyone experiencing a suicidal, mental health, or substance use crisis. You can also contact 988 if you're concerned about someone. 988 is confidential and free to all Wisconsin residents. 988-24-7. Call, text, chat. Here to support you. 
It's time to remodel your kitchen or bathroom today. Interior Designs can help you from design to completion. Our designers will help pick out your new cabinets, countertops, flooring, and backsplash. Our installation team will complete the look, including plumbing and sheetrocking. Let us take care of the entire process so you can enjoy your new kitchen or bathroom. Call today, Interior Designs, Holman. Get Hormel Black Label Bacon, $2.99. And Simply Done Bath Tissue or Paper Towels, $3.99 at High B. That's Hormel Black Label Bacon, $2.99. And Simply Done Bath Tissue or Paper Towels, $3.99. Wednesday only at High V. Chilly tonight, lows in the 30s, 37 in La Crosse, but the 60s and 70s over right. the next eight days. Some periodic rain chances, kind of low-end chances Thursday through Sunday. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody.